we're back at it again. We are taking three YouTubers and putting the recipes head to head. Hey guys, I'm Candice the Edgy Veggie. Welcome back to my channel. Every week I put out recipes. I test other people's recipes. And if you're into that sort of thing, hit that subscribe button. It's right there. And if you have any requests for YouTubers or meals, you can put those in the comment section down below. So on this week's episode, I am pinning Madeline, Olivia, the happy pair and rainbow plant life's recipes and seeing which one is the best. I noticed that the most popular recipe for Nisha from rainbow plant life is a red lentil curry. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that red lentil, anything with red lentils in it is my favorite. I make this red lentil soup that I just have all winter long. So I was very inspired and intrigued by that. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an awesome online learning community. They have thousands of inspiring and creative classes for you to take online. They've sponsored a numerous amount of videos that we do here. So we're very grateful to them for sponsoring vegan creators. And definitely stay tuned because throughout the video, I'm going to share an awesome deal that they have for you guys. So what I do here is, you know, take the three recipes and see which one I like the best. Of course, all of these creators have different culinary skills. It's more just to see, you know, following the recipes, does the recipe make sense? What is the outcome and which one I like the best? The first recipe I'm going to make is by Rainbow Plant Life. Her name is Nisha Bora and her recipes are so cute. If you have not watched her videos, not her recipes are cute. Her videos are cute. Her recipes are delicious. Her videos are cute. This is the vegan red lentil curry. In terms of ingredients, they're generally all more or less the same, just with different variations. So some are using crushed tomatoes, some are using whole tomatoes. Some, So it's just, they're all a little bit different. The main ingredients that she's using are coconut oil, garlic, ginger, turmeric. She uses serrano peppers, but I couldn't find any at the grocery store near me. Things run out. You can't get access to a lot of the things that we had before. So. I'm just leaving them out. I will be adding chili flakes instead. So for all of these recipes, you're going to have to wash your lentils. So I'm going to show it to you one time because you don't need to see it three times. But when it comes to washing or rinsing lentils, you want to make sure that you rinse them until the water runs clear. So what I like to do is just kind of take a little, a little bowl and I have this fine mesh sieve and I just kind of agitate the lentils initially in the bowl. And then see all that stuff. You want none of that. That's like starch and dust. So you want to do this until this water runs clear. I'm going to show kind of the basics of each one and kind of the base to this curry to show how different they are because they are all quite different. Misha has chosen a coconut oil. We're going to heat up coconut oil over a medium high heat and then add in our ginger and our garlic. All right, now that our oil is hot, we are going to add grated ginger. This is also where you would add your serrano peppers, but like I said, I couldn't find any, so I'm just going to add chili flakes. If you don't like heat, you can leave out the peppers and the chili flakes all together, but I like a little bit of heat, so I'm going to add them. So you want to stir this constantly so you don't burn the garlic, and then we're going to add our spices. So this is the combination of spices that Nisha uses. I would say most people have these in their pantry. So we have Indian red chili powder. I just used the chili powder that I have. I don't know if it's like a chili blend. Curry powder, garam masala. She has the most spices out of any of the recipes. And I believe that is because of her South Asian background and I love that. So don't be afraid of spice. So now I'm going to add in the spices. She also uses fresh turmeric. Again, couldn't find it, so I'm using dried and ground. All right, so I'm just adding the spices right to the oil and the garlic and the ginger. And you wanna stir that for about 30 seconds to 60 seconds just so it doesn't burn. But you want the aromatics to really come out and into that oil. You'll smell it almost right away, it's so, Tasty smelling, it smells so good. Okay, so that's been about 60 seconds. I'm going to go in and add the vegetable broth now. You wanna go in with your wooden spoon and just scrape off anything that's stuck to the bottom. I didn't really have anything. I deglazed the pan pretty well with that little first splash. So we're good to go there. All right, lentils into the pot. After lentils, we have our crushed tomatoes. 
So mix that together until it is well combined and then I'm going to cover this with a lid and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. All right, next up we have Madeline Olivia. Her recipe has just very few basic ingredients. So again, the same things are tomatoes and broth. Her tomatoes though are chopped tomatoes. And then I just use the same broth for that. She has onions in hers, uh, Nisha did not. Also she has um, garlic, which is the same, and lemon, which is the same. And then the spices, for Madeleine's are turmeric, cumin, chili, coriander, garam masala, and cinnamon. So very similar, just she has cinnamon in this one. And there was no similar in the uh, cinnamon in the other one. In terms of method, it's all pretty much the same except for the first step, which is to blend onions and garlic together in a food processor or blender. So I'm going to do that. I've only ever done that before for Padgar Prao, which is a Thai dish where I mix together the hot chilies, the onion, and the garlic. So I have seen this before. Yeah, so let's start with that. Okay, so I've blended up my onions and my garlic. And then in her recipe, she says to cook it in water as opposed to oil, or cook them, I should say, in water as opposed to oil. So I just added, I'm using the same pot because why not? So I'm just heating up some water over, it doesn't say any temperatures. So I'm just going to guess. I would usually do like a medium high to high heat. All right, so I'm just going to add that. And she says, cook onion and garlic in water until transparent. Uh, it doesn't really give a time or like recommended cook time. So I'll just go based on, or go with based on what I know about cooking, which is about three to five minutes. Let that happen. And you're not really gonna burn the garlic because of the water. All right, so we'll come back in three minutes. All right, while everything is simmering, I thought it was a great time to talk to you about our sponsor, Skillshare. So Skillshare is a online learning community. They have thousands of awesome classes. Right now, I'm really into the creative ones and you know, bettering my entrepreneurship skills. So I've been finding these wildly helpful for me personally. One class that I've been taking is the bookkeeping for freelancers, how to handle your finances. I am definitely a creative person and not paperwork and numbers person. I'm really bad at it. I'm terrible at paperwork. So I thought, how am I gonna take care of my finances if I just ignore them? The Bookkeeping for Freelancers, How to Handle Your Finances by Emily Simcox has been super helpful for me. She goes through like why bookkeeping matters, personal versus business expenses, single entry bookkeeping, cash versus accrual accounting. She helps you choose the right bookkeeping method that works for you. I'm a very disorganized person, which you probably know by how I cook in the kitchen, so highly recommend. And Skillshare is now offering the first thousand edgy veg followers that click the link in the description box down below, a free trial of their Skillshare premium membership. So definitely, definitely take advantage of that. You get access to all of their classes. And then after that, it's only about $10 a month. So it's an awesome deal. All right, it's been about three minutes. We are adding our spices. There we go. And again, similarly to the first recipe, we are going to cook that for a couple of minutes, really get those oils out of the spices. You want it to be fragrant before we add our tomatoes and lentils and broth. So for hers, she has chopped tomatoes. So Nisha's was crushed, these ones are chopped. So these ones will have more chunkier pieces of tomato in it. And then we can add our lentils and our vegetable stock. We have the lentils. She uses quite a bit of lentils in her recipe. The next thing that she says is lemon juice. So key difference, we are adding the lemon juice now. Uh, Nisha uses the lemon juice at the end. Okay, so after that, we are going to bring this to a boil and simmer it for about 20 minutes. It does not specify whether the lid is on or off. So I guess I'll just leave it off. Okay, we are down to our last recipe. This is from The Happy Pear. The ingredients are, some are the same, some are different. With this one, the main differences are we have some red onion. We have lime juice instead of lemon. We have courgette, also known as zucchini. We have soy sauce, or tamari, sorry, not soy sauce, tamari. Water, 
as opposed to broth. So those are the main differences in terms of ingredients. Oh, also they have sliced garlic as opposed to minced garlic. So again, we're, you know, putting everything into a pot with water, stirring, and then cooking for five to 10 minutes. Okay, so we're starting with our water. They say four tablespoons. It's about a quarter cup. About four, yeah. About a quarter cup. And then we are adding our garlic, as well as our ginger, and then our red onions. So in terms of onions, all the recipes have been different. All right, so we're going to cook this again until it is, they say high heat for five minutes. When onions are soft, add the courgette and tomatoes. And now they say to add the courgette or zucchini and tomatoes with salt, mix it all around, give that a good mix, and then I will cover it. It doesn't say to reduce the heat in any way, but I did, because I think that this is just going to burn if I cover it. Oh, I'm a liar. It does say to turn it to a low heat. All right, it's been about five minutes and everything is kind of wilted and soft. So now we're adding everything else. And this recipe uses quite a bit of lentils. So this is a recipe to feed like a big family. That's quite a bit of lentils. And then we have our spices, tamari and lime juice, and then two liters of water. Our uh, other curry is done. So we can go back to Nisha's. But before we do that, so we're going to bring this to a boil and then reduce it to a low heat and simmer it for 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes. The lentils look nice and soft. Okay, now it says remove the lid. I've done that. Add coconut milk, almond butter, we're using peanut butter, along with salt and pepper to taste. Continue cooking on a low heat, uncovered for five to eight minutes. All right, easy enough. This is just coconut milk from a can. And then the butter. That is the color I want to see on my red lentil curry. All right, so it's been 20 minutes. I have my three curries here. Um, we have the happy pear one, which is giving me more of like a soup stew vibe. And I let it cook quite a bit longer than 20 minutes and it's still kind of soupy, stewy. So that's different than like a curry that I'm used to. Madeline or Madeline's is a little bit thicker than the happy pear recipe, but again, it's pretty soupy. I could probably cook this one even longer. I think I cooked this one for about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. But then we have Nisha's, which is definitely a texture that I am used to for curry. It's really creamy and silky. So for her recipe, she says to fold in or mix in the cilantro at the end. So I'm going to do that now. The happy pear recipe, they say to serve it with the cilantro sprinkled on top. All right, I have my taste testers here. We are the taste testing brigade. Ladies first. Take your spoons. Meh. It's missing something. Mm -hmm. That initial taste is really good. But it's like a soup though, also yeah, with watery. texture. It's very watery. I think it needs salt. Definitely, yeah. Good. It's good, I'd eat it. Not I'm, my favorite. I wouldn't order it again. <laughs> All right. But I like that there's um, zucchini, so there's like yes. more texture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the texture. I like, and also additional vegetables, which right. is always good. It's just, it's too watery for me. It's a little yeah. bland. It's I'm not excited about it. I'm also not excited about it. This one is rainbow plant life. I'm gonna mix it up and use the pita. Mm. Mm. Is there peanut butter in that? Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be almond butter. But I didn't have any. I like that. Yeah, I like, like that it. too. Texture spot on for me. Mm. I really like it. I really like that. Yeah, I would order again. I would order that again too. Mm -hmm. I would definitely make this. Even with the peanut butter, you have that hint of peanut butter, but like. I'd be interested to try it with the almond butter. Because mm -hmm. the peanut, that doesn't necessarily taste out of place, but it kind of like stands above the flavors a little bit. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then we have Madeline Olivia. She's really cute. I've seen her on all over YouTube. It doesn't taste like anything. It needs salt for sure. Yeah. I don't like it. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It doesn't really taste like anything. It has no texture. It's not, okay. It's not bad tasting. No. There's it's just like. Nothing. Nothing. It doesn't. 
healthy. It's healthy. It tastes. That's why. It tastes healthy. Yeah. That's like a nice. It's very light. Like I could have some of that on like a summer day and not mm. feel like it's too overwhelming. You know, you know what I think it is? It's because like these two. They're similar texture. Yeah, they're similar texture, which is watery. Whereas this one is not, but this one has coconut milk and a nut butter in it. Whereas these ones both use no oil. So for oh. flavor, in order for flavor to like carry properly and that mouth feel, you need oil. So there's no fat in this whatsoever. Well, that's why there's no there's no mouth. It doesn't grip to your mouth. 100%. Yeah, I'd be Easy curious oil. to see what these taste like with Oil, some coconut, um, milk? coconut milk yeah. and some nut butter. I feel like that's exactly what those are missing. It's like a it's like a structural base yeah. to the to the flavor. All right, so which one's your favorite? That one. All right, guys, so there you have it. Our favorite red lentil curry recipe. I need to know from you what type of food you want me to test next. If you do see a recipe that you want me to test out, you can put it in the comment section down below. Just put the link there. If you have three different recipes that you want me to test out, it has to be the same food though. If it's like three different burgers or whatever, you can put the links in the comment section as well. If you like these videos where I take different YouTubers recipes and test them out for you, give this video a big huge thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.